Ever since it was legalized by voters in 2010, the medical marijuana industry has rapidly grown here in Arizona. And so, too, has its hope to be seen with more sophistication. Cronkite News reporter Tim Johns is live outside one dispensary in central Phoenix. Here outside Nirvana Center, you won't see the word marijuana on their signs. And inside, the medicinal pot is named after common foods to help patients decide what to buy. Bubble gum, ice cream, vanilla bean. You may know these as everyday food items, but would you be surprised to learn that they're actually different strands of marijuana? Max Shell helps to run the marketing team at Nirvana Center. Shell says that as the medical marijuana industry has become more mainstream, mm -hmm. dispensaries mm -hmm. are increasingly moving to more user-friendly terminologies than those used in the past. I think that people are definitely becoming more socially accepting of uh, cannabis and its uses. And, you know, I feel like uh, when people see names like green cracker marijuana, you know, it kind of throws them off a little bit. The idea is that by moving to softer marketing terms, the industry will attract new customers who might otherwise be wary of marijuana. And it seems to be working. Estimates for last year saw the medical marijuana industry in Arizona to now be worth over $360 million, a whopping 37% increase over 2016. And for patients, this shifting attitude is welcomed because they say it helps to destigmatize the industry that helps get them the medicine that they need. The disconnect of an actual drug that you don't exactly necessarily want to take, but replacing it with a name that's kind of fun and, you know, kind of cool, definitely helps. You may even notice that some marijuana dispensaries don't have the green cross on their signs either, which is a sign of the industry. Live in Phoenix, Tim Johns, Cronkite News.